ang han sai po. I'm a sculptor. I'm making art around 30 years. Why I start pick this stone as material? Because during the school time, the, the teacher brought us to the White Chapel Gallery. And we saw a wonderful uh, stone carving exhibition. Some work by Barbara Hepworth or Haley Moore. I think it's a very interesting exhibition. And from that time, I thought I can try to work on stone. So I picked out a few stones from the, the stone yard there. I tried to learn how to do the carving without the teacher teaching me. From that, I started doing my own carving until now I'm still doing. When I graduated from London, I returned to Singapore. The only stone I can get here is a, from Malaysia, the, the Ebo marble or granite. So I bought some from Malaysia, and then I thought the stone is a very natural. Because of my work is a very organic, also very natural. So a stone can repeat my meaning and the language of the object I want. I bought one, uh, I think uh, about 20 ton granite block. I always visit the quarry. Then I saw the people, how the people drilling the stone and break the stone into the side. And I, I was using this technique to show the public the traditional way to break stone. They have very long drilling. One meter, two meter, how length. One huge block, you can line up many, many small, small holes. Later on, after you draw all the hole, they put the hinges into the hole, and you the hammer, knock, 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 knock. The stone will break into two parts nicely, go up, a beautiful line as well. So, why I line it up? Because I I want to show this this uh, six piece the uh, original is of one huge block. So this technique only the stone material can be applied to it. Because stone the structure is a uh, car particular is different. All my work are about the nature, the environment. From my very young age, I was living in a village surrounding with a tree. So when I small, I, not, no toy, nothing for me. So I can pluck the fruit, uh, flowers, leaf from the ground. I play with this as a toys. So since I small, the nature is a part of my life. So when I want to conceive or some art idea. This uh, nature will come out from my thought. When I see the the forest, especially the tropical forest being chopped out and decreased tremendously, then my idea is I want to let people to think of uh, the impact on deforestation. So maybe after 50 years, we not do something for it. The whole tropical rainfall will be gone forever. So we may have to make a, a statement, a win for people to, to think about this. The black forest is a, it's a dead forest and it burned it. There's no life for it. So I thought to get some charcoal mineral the mend of the dead tree in the forest bring into the gallery, the museum and set up something I want to show the people this is a dead forest, a dead tree why do this? Nature is all about energy and life so a lot of my joy are about the light, the flowing Nature is not just a 
still life uh, object. It have uh, energy. It have the movement. Personally, I more enjoy doing tangible car object, hands on things because a hand on thing is part of our life. Any art form important is that it can impact other people. That other people can feel about the energy, the beauty, the meaning with that piece of work.